Hello YouTube, Net Retro Nostalgia Fan here, and today we're going to review the 1998 Thomas Wynn Railway yearbook. I'm excited to look at this one, because this is one of my other favorites. The 1997 is my favorite yearbook, but this is probably my second favorite. And this was made in a golden time when Thomas toys were amazing. Simple, charming, and when the show was great, and really good quality toys. And what's ironic is Learning Curve at this time really wanted to guarantee quality for life with their toys and lifetime warranty, which is awesome. Something that basically no other company would do at the time. So that's what makes Learning Curve special. Despite the lead paint crisis in 2005, 6, and 7, before that was a golden time. And Learning Curve still has the clickety-clack track. And we got this awesome Thomas the Tank Engine Friends logo, which I love. I've seen it on YouTube a lot with older Thomas fans. Getting these models in this style packaging with this logo, which I might make a video on. But, yeah, I just really love this yearbook cover. It shows Thomas with Andy and Clairville going underneath the, the suspension bridge, which is awesome. And there's the back. Learning Curve made other toys, too, that you could buy at the time. And it, on the top here has a description talking about your lifetime warranty, which I love that about Learning Curve. I love this so much about Learning Curve. It's sad they're not around anymore. Rest in peace, Learning Curve. Rest in peace. But this video, my 1995 yearbook review, was a little longer than expected, so I won't talk as much in this one i'll make it more simple and let's begin let's start our journey there's a really nice description here with top picture of thomas and we've got the thomas logo the thomas the tank engine friends wind railway system building on imagination get on the right track for magical adventures and imaginative fun with thomas the tank engine friends wind railway system the stories of Thomas and his friends are relieved by children and adults alike through videos, books, and the Thomas the Tank Engine Friends series, TV series, seen on Shine Time Station. This Emmy Award winning series can be seen on the Fox Family Channel starting in August 1998, which that's surprising to me because even though Thomas in America started off on a spin-off show called Shine Time Station that Br Brett Allcroft worked on. Um, it was on PBS Kids originally, or just PBS at the time. And uh, then it was on Fox Family Channel in 1998, maybe even 1997, if I'm going to be honest. But it seems like it started in August 1998, so therefore it started in August 1998. But... And I love this description here, too. It says, we are proud to help your child bring these favorite stories to life with our colorful buildings, action pack accessories, hard maple clickety-clack track, and beloved characters found on the island of Sodor. I love it. And here it even mentions how each item on the system is age-graded and safety test safely tested to ensure developmental and enjoyable play for all Thomas fans, which is awesome. And... Later on, there's a little chart page that talks about the items that are graded in eight for ages. But yeah, we get a picture of Cookie Clack Track. There's a picture of Thomas and a picture of part of the Sodor Sawmill Depot and Co. There's, we got the other engines. This has a description of Thomas right there, the old style Thomas. There's Thomas, Edward, Henry, Gordon, James, Percy, Toby, Bertie, Donald, and Douglas. Also, this yearbook is stapled too, just to let you know. But anyway, here are more characters we could see that we could buy at the time. We've got Annie, Clarabelle, Diesel, Bill and Ben, Daisy, Duck, Harold, Terrence, gray face troublesome truck not the white face but there are white faces around that i want to get if i have the money <laughs> we got mavis the sodor line caboose 
Henry's Forest Log Car. We got the Knapford Express Coach, which I think in 1998, this might have been the last year that the Knapford Express Coach was made until 1999 when it was I think discontinued, I believe. It was 1999. It was discontinued. And then, which is sad, because it was the first Express Coach. And then we get Tidmouth Milk Tanker. Sodor Bay Carl Ship is still around, surprisingly. White Roof Rusty, Oliver, Tar Tanker, and Fuel Car. Breakdown Train, the Chinese Dragon, Peter Sam, Scarloy, Diesel 199, Caldy, and Stepney. If you want to look at this and pause the video, you could look at all the characters. But, I'm going to have to change the page. We got more characters. If you want to see this slowly and just pause, you can pause the video. We got the Circus Train. We got Ada, Jane, and Maple, which these were Railway Series characters, as well as Caldy and Diesel 199, as I talked about in the... Uh, I think I might have talked about that in my Railway Series book collection where I mentioned some of the characters' names that were Railway Series exclusives, never appeared in the TV series. But anyway, let's look at the characters again. We got Scruffy, the Sodor Mail Coach. This Sodor Mail Coach I've never seen until I saw the yearbooks and pamphlets from before my time. And I want to get four Sodor Mail Coaches, the old style ones that look like this. They're really cool. And then we got Reneus, which I actually got now. We got Sir Handel, Fred, Duke, Barrel Car, Sodor China Clay. And then we get some new models for 1998. We get Mike, we get Duncan, Toad the Brake Van, and Diesel 261 or the Diesel. Now we get the official Express Coaches. And then we get the Sodor Railway Repair. And what's cool about these 1998 models is they all have descriptions of each character, which is awesome. I really love that. And this is a Railway Series character, too, if you didn't know. For those who don't know, a little fun fact. And we get some clickety-clack track. Um, just some nice clickety-clack track. And there's some descriptions on the left page that talks about... How their track is quality, which I love. And then we get the two new track pieces are the surface ramps, which I bought. The flexi curve track, which I all I need to get. And then here we got the track packs. We get the straight and curve track, which I have. The cross and switch track pack, which I actually bought as well. But that one was, this one I got brand new. And the one I still want to get is the elevated track pack. That's one I want to get. Then we get some other special track pack. Freight yard expansion pack, which would be awesome. I've seen that one on eBay before. And the lumber yard expansion pack, which is also awesome. If you want to pause the video... This is my favorite page, the Buildings and Destinations. These colorful buildings and accessories help expand your child's imaginative play. From the classic signal, signal stone tunnel and special engine shed to the deluxe roundhouse and sawmill, there's fun for engineers of all ages. It shows all the destinations, buildings, and accessories. And we get Single Stone Tunnel, Ellsbridge Station, which... This is the last yearbook, I believe, with Ellsbridge Station and Ellsbridge Platform, which is sad because those are rare. The Roundhouse, Henry's Tunnel, Windmill, which I always wanted as a kid. I'm happy to have a Roundhouse now. Special Engine Shed, the Works Engine Repair Shop, Knapford Station Platform, which is r really rare to find, and Pedestrian Bridge, which I need to get. And this awesome, this is my favorite Thomas Wynn Railway layout. This is mind-blowing. Like, this probably took a lot of hours right there. I would love to recreate, get all the pieces and recreate this layout. That's something I want to do in the future. In the future. And then we get some more bridges and buildings. Get the arch stone bridge, which I have. The old iron double wide bridge. Lifting bridge. Sodor Bray bridge. The new suspension bridge, which I want to get. The old style one, not the 2006 version. This one's awesome. 
We get the Mountain Tunnel, which is awesome. Curved Viaduct, which in 1999 or 2000, they replaced the Curved Viaduct with the Arch Viaduct, which basically just got rid of two of the pieces off of the Curved Viaduct and just had only two instead of four. This one, The original 1998 pack came with four, and I think around 1999, a year later, or even 2000, or even 2001, they might have replaced that with just two arch viaducts, which were just the same thing, just they didn't make a full nine, 180 turn. It was just an arch. So, anyway, and then we get the Sodor log loader, which I need to get, the Sodor cargo crane, the barrel loader, and my favorite, one of my favorites that I never really had growing up, but always thought it was really cool, was the sawmill and dumping depot. And this is an awesome destination. I want to get this one. I have Henry's log car now, but I would love to get some of the sawmill pieces and it'd just be really awesome, you know. That's definitely one I need to get. And there's whole page right there if you want to pause all aboard for fun and adventure and i love this little part right here this looks like a poster i love this little photo of just part new buildings and destinations there's so much going on there i love that and then there's the old thomas logo right there if you want this screams nostalgia man i wish toys were like this again it's sad we don't see this kind of stuff anymore it always makes me appreciate the good times, even though I wasn't born in 1998. <laughs> I was born in 2002. But anyway, there are layout accessories to make the layouts look more nice and give it more of a more of a flavor to the layouts. We've got a 3D figure of Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat, which I would love to get. I've seen those as a kid, actually. Set of five trees, seasonal trees set some signs the thomas comes to breakfast set is still still existing in in stores at this time in 1998 the two bumpers and signs which i got set of three buildings which i'm happy to have i'm happy to say i'm gonna get those in the future set of four signals Sir top of hat a workman two engineers family of four and some play mats instead of Last time with the 1995 and 94 yearbook, there are only now three. There are now three mats. The cloth mats are still around at this point. They're play mats. And we still got this nice felt play mat, which is basically a carpet play mat. It's really nice. Looks like the characters in the Railway series, which I love. I love this play mat. I've actually seen this one before. It's way bigger than than the other two play mats. <clears throat> but, and this is something that's rare, are these two sets. The limited edition character story packs. These are extremely rare and are going for like three to four hundred dollars. They're extremely rare. We start off with the the uh, Thomas and Burry's Great Race pack with Natford Station included, which is why a lot of people would get it. And we get a first-time exclusive facial expression of Thomas, known as Puffed Out Face Thomas, the old-style Thomas with the puffed out face. And then we got a typical normal old-style birdie, which I need to get. And it even includes... Uh, these sets both include a guide for grown-ups on reverse sides with tips for parent-child interaction, which is really cool. And uh, even has a story that talks about the episode, which they're based off of, which is awesome. And down here is probably a lot of people's favorite is the Come Out Henry or S Sad Story of Henry set with Henry's Tunnel and Ellsbridge Station and a Napford Express Coach, which is nice, and a really sad face Henry, which is awesome. So yeah, this is another really neat piece of Thomas Wynn Railway history. I love this layout. I love this uh, yearbook. 
Now we get some more sets. The Recreate the Magic of Island of Sodor. Which shows sets. And at this point, these weren't... At this point, by 1998 and onwards, the sets no longer were called Instant System Sets. At this point, they had their own unique names of sets, which I like. They're It's very creative. We get the Circle Set, which is nothing special. Then we get the Figure 8 Set. Again, nothing special. Then we get Around the Barrel Loader Set, which is the new set. This is a really good set. I've actually seen this one brand new in stores before, so... If I ever see this one brand new for a good price, I would buy it and make a review on it. We get a carrying bag right here that they were showing off. And then we get the Day at the Work set, which in this yearbook finally has the name A Day at the Work set, which is iconic and very special. And then Percy Takes the Plunge set, the story set, which is awesome. This one includes a pop-up book. And Percy looks like one of his uh, Christopher Audrey's illustrations in the Railway series. But yeah, though, this is a little fun story set. Very simple, but it comes with a nice amount of rolling stock. Two gray face troublesome trucks, which is awesome. And then we get the Roundhouse set from 1997. And then it wasn't until 2002 when they got a redesign. I prefer the the original 1997 to 2001 set. That's the one I'm trying to get all the pieces for to recreate. That's my goal. But yeah, that's a really nice set. And then we get the normal 100 piece set, which I almost have all the pieces for. And both of these come with... Nice storage boxes. This is the first ever storage box right here. That came out since 1996. And then this is my favorite Thomas storage box I always wanted was this Thomas storage box. I've always seen growing up but always wanted and never got. Maybe someday I can find one for a good price if someone was desperate to get rid of it. Here it shows a play board you could buy and a table you could buy. want to pause it you go right ahead and now we get to the track layouts they still had names working on the railroad which is nice this is a really nice layout very nice simple layout looks like a good set fun at the freight yard again would look like a great layout some really great layouts right here you know and on the top of these it would show what you need to build Rocking the rails, coming around the mountain. Again, the, look how nice, there's so much going on in these layouts. Like, these could have been really great deluxe sets, honestly, right here. These two right here could be great deluxe sets. I love them. It'd be a fun s sets to imagine or, cut, like, recreate. And then these also would be great deluxe sets. Henry Henry's Day at the Lumberyard and up and down and all around. Which, look how awesome these are. These are so damn good. Like, 1998 also had some great custom layout designs for some layout ideas, which I love. It even shows a picture of what the layout would look like since 1996. They did that in their yearbooks. But then around 2001, they just stick to the more simple design where it just showed the picture of the dot diagram of the layout in an upward angle perspective, like the 1994 and 95 yearbooks, and they just did that, brought it back that way in 2001, and yeah, you know, and that's pretty much the yearbook, and here is page 30, shows the guidance of what toys would work for at what age, And it just shows how much learning curve cares. And that, my friend, is my, ladies and gentlemen, my 1998 Thomas Wynn Railway yearbook review. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And you all have a good day. And like and subscribe. Bye-bye.